Um, we're going to get the reminders out of the way first because I know that we're going to be diving into a bunch of different topics, but we're going to try and stay on thread with our primary topics today, which is shifting frequencies, parallel realities, parallel dimensions. And I'm going to give you a few um, experiences that will amp up the frequency so that I can tune in etherically to the expansive universal chambers, which have been expanding moment for moment for moment as my energy field has been expanding and what I have been practicing with. Um, so anything can happen. Anything is being threaded through and alive and well as humanity, the collective humanity consciousness is threaded through me um, into our universal chambers. The 22nd of July was our, our kind of initiation anniversary date with Sirius. And there's a lot of Sirius energy with us today. And you might um, notice that my voice might get louder or stronger or more pronounced. I may or may not say words that make sense. I may or may not get my letters mixed up because, as I said, my brain has been going through a huge rewiring through the neural pathways and the synapses that are all being rewired and reintegrated at a higher frequency, at a refined frequency, so that I can take on the consciousness downloads, the particle memory downloads. I call it memory, but they're not memory. They're particles of information, but just so that everyone else can understand the memory that I carry forward from other lifetimes. That's how we'll call it, but that's not what it is. It just allows me to open up a frequency thread, which you all have the potential to do, and why I'm explaining it in this way. These threads, like remember we've talked about that we are all spherical balls of light, of golden spherical light, pulsating in any direction we so choose. The more that you allow your awareness to open up, to be loved and to be loving and to let go of the density and limitation and sphere and all those things that we've been talking about for eons since we've been on this, this platform, and in all of our classes and our private coaching sessions and all that you entangle with as a soul family, whatever your intentions are, it allows you to open up the threads of all of those things that can allow you the skills and the abilities and the wisdoms and the tools and the healing skills, whatever it is that you're here to do, your theme, your blueprint, your divine encoding of what you've chosen to do so that you can move in a more fluidic, fluidic way, a more synchronistic way with your divinehood. So you're opening up these threads of knowing. You're opening up these threads of, um, uh, you know, how they're, how I'm seeing it. It, it it's, it's sound and light. <laughs> That's just what it is. Um, and so you're opening up these sound and light weavings, threads, so that you can pull in the information that allows you expansiveness. And that's what I have been working on unknowingly. <laughs> I was just practicing with light, universal light language, my type of light language. And because I have, um, because my Akashic threading is threaded with the birds, the Pleiadians, the birds, the felines, uh, my the cetaceans upon Sirius, which I've just opened up to this morning, which we're going to talk about, all of these energies and ideas and these universal consciousness aspects that I have other consciousness threadings entangled with, they're now opening up to me because I've stretched my consciousness in this way. I've allowed it to be okay. I've allowed it to be nourished. I've allowed it to be loved. I've allowed it to be pulled in and loved as whole. And this is where we're talking about the profound energies that humanity, that Gaia is being offered right now, these profound summer energies, are slowly amping you up and amping you up. However, there will be a point in time where, what we're sitting in within right now, the final ascension phases is that these are the final kind of wake-up calls for humanity. These ascension calls that allow humanity to say, okay, what are you willing to let go of and jump into a new frequency? And we don't mean it in any other way that the positioning on where Gaia sits and what I was shown this morning and why we all feel so different, why we all feel so so quickened, if you will. Those that are tuning into the subtle planetary frequencies, the subtle collective frequencies, and if you are tuning in, if you're doing your pathwork, if you're aligning yourself with Source and your teams, you will feel that recently we've had a quickening. And I've been shown that where Gaia sits where we've been propelled into by the consciousness actions of all that we are, along with the vibrational encodings that's been offered to us from all these other celestial councils and beings and the benevolent councils of creation that Source um, entangles with and that allows humanity to evolve, allows our galaxy to evolve, our universe to evolve, all of the cycles and systems that we've talked about in all the other shows. It's now coming to a culmination point, and it's catapulted us into a frequency photonic belt, 
And this photonic belt are light waves, if you will. It's quantum light waves enmeshed with consciousness, enmeshed with the spirituality of all that we are as consciousness. And this spirituality consciousness is also the consciousness of source, the consciousness of God, the consciousness of all that is. This photonic belt is what we are now sitting on the edge of, ready to be propelled into a new threading, if you will. How I see it is threading, like a weaving of a blanket. We've talked about this many times. For if we allow ourselves to align with the idea that we are patterns of light frequencies, we are patterns of threads, we are patterns of, of source love, <laughs> You can allow yourself to be a spherical ball of threading and you can jet yourself out and catapult yourself up into whatever you want to weave yourself with. And so my potential, my, my, my specific passion and my potential is to know universal energy in all of its ways because I'm so divinely in love with source. I'm so divinely in love with creation and my role here to be the bridge, to be the allowance for understanding that love and life exist beyond what we can see, beyond what we've ever been taught or known. And all of these aspects is what we were taught in the sacred temples of many of the most ancient cultures, whether it be the Mayan, whether it be the Hopi, whether it be ancient Egypt. And this is why these threadings will come through as you align and allow yourself to open up to certain things as tone and sound and color and so on. That's what we were taught in these temples, which we are now awakening to, which is why we've started the sacred temple teachings. Because it's through these sacred temple teachings that I awoke myself <laughs> before the class started practicing this universal light language. And it truly, to be honest, I had no idea what I was saying or doing, but I was just doing what intuitively came to me. And that's how most of these beautiful things unfold synchronistically. You sense your divineness by doing what feels right intuitively. And that's why tuning in and being your whole self feels so good. Because you're aligning with your divinehood. You're aligning with all that feels divinely essence through you you are divine essence of source you are infinitely you are holographic you are encoded with the with the whole universe within you with all of creation and if you so desire you can allow yourself to open that up and thread it in a new way that allows these new skills and new healing techniques or whatever it might be that is universally known it's a universally known laws that we've worked with in other star systems we carry these ancient wisdoms with us forever what is relevant for us in this particular life theme is how we can thread back and forth with these parallel realities as long as we're grounded and fully honing all that we are in this divinehood in this now moment, in this earthly experience. Because it really doesn't matter if we have experiences upon Sirius or all of these other beautiful star systems that we're threaded with, that we're family with. What matters is that you're allowing yourself to open in your most divinehood in this moment of now upon this planet Earth. Because this planet Earth is where we're creating all of this galactic change, all of this universal change. This is the one you've chosen to come forward with. And so this is why it's so utterly profound and why I'm threading all of these many, many shows that we've talked about. And so if, if anything causes you, um, you know, excitement or concern and you want to go back and review some of those shows, every time you listen to any show or any podcast, regardless of whose it is or what it is, because you're in a new now moment of threadedness, of divinehoodness, then you're going to create that new, that new knowingness, that new awareness, that new thread of potential. So it doesn't matter if you listen to it 10 or 15 times, you're going to pull something new in based on what the higher self is ready and what you've readied yourself for, what you stretched yourself for to open up and be active, just as I found out when I was practicing my universal light language. That now I know, this week I know, last week I didn't. <laughs> this week, I mean, I knew I had something, I knew the, the tones of what I was speaking was definitely the birds from the Pleiades, because I saw the visions and the images. How intuitive visionary works is that, for me anyways, it's different for each person. These are just my musings, and I'm giving them to you as education and information as to how energy can be threaded. This isn't the way how it's threaded for everyone because you're all unique. You all come here with a different blueprint. You all come here with different themes. You all come here with a different energy package. For me, how energy has always worked is that if I attune to something, if I think and I focus and I create consciousness love around a particular idea or concept, and I open my sacred heart center, my divinehood of all that I am, and entangle with that idea or concept or topic, or being, or consciousness, or source, or light, whatever it might be, then I open my heart to that, and the visions and the images come to me. Sometimes they come to me, you know, like I said earlier in shows, it, when I'm sitting in the dentist chair and my, my, my thinking mind, my ego mind is turned off. 
and I'm just sitting there, um, you know, wondering about the drill that's drilling into my mouth. <laughs> you know, there's no real thought involved. You're just kind of sitting there in, in an empty space of void. And that void space allows you to open up and bring through the consciousness information of higher frequencies and other frequencies and other realms. This is why the divine and inspiration speaks in very subtle and elegant ways. It can't be forced. And allowing yourself to open up and be divine and beautiful in these ways, you can tune into and hone into the visions that can be gifted to you at any point in time, at any, any moment. You never know when they're coming. The, the divine just says, okay, here you go. She, she's ready. Her consciousness is expanded enough. We can give her this, this opportunity. And is she going to take it or not? It's always free will for us to take whatever we're gifted and run with it. It's free will. We're never victims. We're always in line and we're always the masters of our own craft. We can choose to run with the giftings and the cues, or we can sit with it and just let it resonate and just allow it to, to soak and integrate, and we can get right on it and move with it, which is what I usually do because that's the pace that I run at. And so with these divine encodings um, that I allowed myself to open up to, last week I, I had the, the symbolism offered to me and the visions offered to me from the, the birds from Pleiades, my family, my bird family from the Pleiades, the avians. Um, and then... Um, I call them the birds, um, but you know it's that's what that's my resonance, my frequency. And then there was also frequencies that I opened up to this morning, which was open from last week, but I understand why now. With the cetaceans upon Sirius, so there is a group of cetaceans upon Sirius because of where we sit right now on the photonic belt, what we've just been moving through, what we've just catalyzed ourselves through. We've now allowed ourselves to open up certain frequencies that are also aligned with the grid work that many of us are doing with the Giza Pyramid from ancient times. From They're all, remember, parallel frequencies happening in this concurrent moment of now. Allowing us to thread all of these wonderful threads of golden light source to recreate and begin new stories of human potential. And this might not make sense to 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 many people or most people if if that if that but that's okay because a lot of these aspects were prophecies that had been brought forward from templates from our most ancient of times and because we're doing away with what we understand to be time and space we can understand that we are rewriting the past in this moment of now and that's what this show is truly all about we can talk about parallel realities and parallel dimensions but what we are doing with the consciousness of all that we are in this moment of now Understand that we have access to any infinite amount of parallel realities that we exist upon, which is infinite. However, because we are understanding that this now moment is so profound, and there are so many beings that are awakening, we can, we can connect with the thread of family, the thread of love, the thread of infinite potential, which is all positive, inclusive, and um, divine. Joy, bliss, love, inclusivity oneness, wholeness, whatever loving word you want to embrace and embellish, your sacredness, how you honor all that is, how you honor oneness. We create those catalytic moments that push us into a new galactic position, planetary position that allows us to be part of the greater galactic whole and where the galaxy is moving as a whole, that truly pushes us into where we will need to be as we are moved into and catalyzed into a new geophysical atmosphere, which is the information that I was given. And so sometimes it doesn't necessarily matter if you get it all, but just know that these summer energies are profound to allow us catalytic moments within a split second. You might not understand what it means now, so let it go. That next day or the next week, you might. It might all come to you and say, wow, okay, so I get it. And this is how we're moving back and forth, and it doesn't really matter. You can let go of the definitions, let go of the separation on how we define things, and having all the fine details to be figured out, because we don't. Everything is moving in perfect divine timing. And if you feel a certain cue, if you feel a certain excitement or a certain attraction or a certain inner pull to a certain sound, you know, allow yourself to experience and explore sounds and colors and play with it. These are the frequencies that we're entering into right now. We're letting go of the ideas that we have to define and separate all that we've ever done and known just so we can understand who we are. We can understand who we are by living fully in the moment of now and grounding it into these earthly energies and thread our ways through the cosmos in such a divine and loving way. Loving way. And so we're really going to go back and forth because this is what the new 
fifth dimensional human potential will do. We're okay to move back and forth. It doesn't have to be linearly okay for us to understand all these myriad of concepts because you're not that anymore. You can move back and forth as often as you like until, oh, okay, that makes sense. I get it. And you move forward or you move sideways or you move up or you move down or side, side to side or you weave back and forth like the weaving in a blanket, zigzagging from here to here to here to here. You can thread yourself in a myriad of ways. Linearly, we are letting go of all that was. And this is why this summer is so profound as the Syrian connection allowed us to explore this morning. Letting go will be very key for these summer frequencies. Letting go of your need to define all things. Letting go of your need to create linearity. Letting go of your need to create the finer details on how everything must unfold. Because it's just not. Letting go of all that can allow you to open up to a new galaxy, a new cosmos, a new universal understanding of who you are. A spherical ball of light, ready to just project in any way you desire. And that's what I was gifted this week. <laughs>